So let us discuss Kanizero reaction which is a very important in terms of aldehyde and ketone as the only reaction in aldehyde and ketone which undergo disproportionation. So the aldehyde whether it is aliphatic or aromatic which do not have alpha hydrogen on treatment with strong base that means like formaldehyde do not have alpha hydrogen or benzaldehyde do not have alpha hydrogen will undergo Kanizero reaction. Now secondly if you have if you have a alpha hydrogen uh, if you have any alpha hydrogen which is attached with the carbonyl compound it will undergo aldol condensation not the Kanizero. So you can able to see that in uh, there is two formaldehyde let us say the oxidation state of this formaldehyde in the carbon is 0 whereas it is con when treated with NaOH and undergo Kanizero it is converted to carboxylic acid in alcohol. So the oxidation state of this losing 2 electrons plus 2 plus 3 and let us say this is a hydrogen then it is plus 2 and converting to alcohol having 3 hydrogen and 1 hydroxy group. So 3 electron it accept and 2 1 electron it lost so it is converted to minus 2. So you can able to see that from 0 to plus 2 lost 2 electron from 0 to minus 2 gain 2 electron. So if one atom gain 2 electron same atom lost 2 electron such reaction is known as disproportionation. So Kanizero is a very good example of disproportionate in reaction. So let us see first of all the mechanism of Kanizero reaction in presence of a concentrated NaOH. So in the very first step the OH minus which is a base but because of the absence of alpha hydrogen in this reaction this OH minus act as a nucleophile attack to this carbon. So when OH minus attack to this carbon both the electron are accepted by the oxygen so it is converted to O minus. So in the second step the plus R effect of this O minus remove the H minus and this H minus attack to the second carbon. So this is the slowest step and rate determining step also. So it will help you to find out the rate or overall order of reaction. So again the plus R effect of oxygen removing H minus this H minus attack to this carbon. So now this molecule is converting to carboxylic acid and because H minus is accepted by this carbon so it is converted to alcohol. So this negative will accept H plus from water and this is also or intramolecular proton exchange can intermolecular proton exchange can also take place to convert carboxylic acid and alcohol. So this mechanism at the normal concentration. At high concentration, at high concentration this is one additional step take place. So at low concentration this plus R effect of this oxygen removing this hydrogen but if you take high concentration both the O minus showing plus I effect remove this hydrogen. Well, what is the difference between the high and low concentration is the order at very high concentration this is the fourth order reaction whereas at the normal it is third order reaction. So the basic difference between order of reaction. So let us uh, take an example of uh, Kanizero reaction the type of Kanizero. So Kanizero are basically of uh, three type one is simple Kanizero second is cross Kanizero and third is intramolecular Kanizero reaction. So these are the three type of Kanizero reaction which are observed. Now let us discuss different type of Kanizero in a particular reaction. So cross Kanizero means having two different aldehyde group when treated with NaOH. So always remember if there is two different carbonyl compound one is formaldehyde and second is benzaldehyde. Now you have to take a decision whether the OH minus will attack to which position. For example, if OH minus attack to this carbon, it is converted to carboxylic acid and this is converted to alcohol. If OH minus attack to this carbon, this molecule is converted to carboxylic acid and this is alcohol. So preferably OH minus will attack to the carbon which is less sterically hindered. So this OH minus will attack to formaldehyde. So you will get formic acid and alcohol. So it is very simple and this is valid for all type of reactions. This is intramolecular uh, Kanizero reaction. In intramolecular Kanizero reaction you can able to see this molecule consists of two different carbonyl compounds. Now OH minus attack to this carbon forming O minus H plus the plus R effect of this 
remove this h minus to this position so this type example or this type of cases are known as intramolecular so in canizaro is of, of three types simple canizaro cross canizaro and intramolecular canizaro reactions now let us take in some example of uh, canizaro in presence of electron withdrawing group the rate of canizaro is higher because partial plus charge increases in terms of uh, group which are attached with the minus so let's discuss question based on canizaro so in this molecule how many molecules shows canizaro reaction see this molecule show intramolecular canizaro attack to this position this h minus will attack to this position this will undergo intramolecular aldol i am writing intramolecular aldol because alpha hydrogen is present this consists of alpha hydrogen so intramolecular aldol so it consists of a leaving group so oh minus will attack at this position removing oh minus so it will a substitution reaction so first one is the correct answer for intramolecular canizaro reaction see total number of d present the final product so this is a molecule which undergo aldol between aldol and canizaro aldol the rate of reaction of aldol is higher so at first oh minus remove this hydrogen and negative charge will attack to this so this is aldol and you will get ch2 cd2 and oh so this is the first aldol now similarly there are two more acidic hydrogens so can we go to two different type of aldol again so this structure will be now three this is c double bond o h now this is three molecule of deuterated formaldehyde are reacted now the fourth will undergo aldol oh minus will attack to this position d minus will attack to this position so finally you will get c d 2 oh these are the three molecules c o h there is a d there is a h so number of deuterium are 3 into 2 6 and 1 plus 1 7 so total number of product form which consists of a deuterium are 7 so let's consider uh, this highest priority of h minus see higher the electron density higher the electron density at this carbon easier will be the removing of this minus h minus so you have to check whether the molecule are electron donors so you can able to see that nitrogen is the most electron donor so the negative charge density is maximum at this position so this will be easily h minus donor so these are the questions which are based on canizaro so moving to the next video for a next name reactions thank you